We've shown that group four viral genomes encode short stretches of host protein sequences. These sequences can be found within the viral protease cleavage sites they're being used for the targeted destruction of host proteins, typically proteins involved in generating the innate immune responses. The major advantage of using protease assays is that it removes the complexity of a cell and shows whether or not a viral protease can cleave a particular sequence. So when we analyzed Zika ship sequences, we found that the protease could cut sequences and proteins involved in generating immune responses, and that some of these proteins also had roles in brain and eye development. When performing this technique for the first time, one should remember that if cleavage is not observed, then it may be due to a variety of factors, such as the activity of the protease. Demonstrating the procedure will be Jamie Compton, a technician from my laboratory. Start by opening Protein Blast. Input the 20 amino acids surrounding the cisile bond in the viral polyprotein and select non-redundant protein sequences. Then, type in the host genome to be searched. If needed, select Phi-Blast and type in a pattern sequence where square brackets indicate that either amino acid within the brackets can be at the substitute position. Then, hit Blast. Rank order the blast hits based on the number of consecutive identical or tolerated residues that match a cleavage site sequence. From the list, select the proteins containing six or more identical or similar residues for analysis in the protease assays. Construct a plasmid encoding the cyan fluorescent protein up to 25 amino acids of the cleavage sequence and the yellow...